where am I gonna put this? Where are you guys gonna put this? When's the next set coming out? I will buy it for sure. You spin me right round, baby, right round. Like a record, baby, right round, round, round. Just even this alone is actually pretty cool. They could have just sold it like this. I probably still would have bought it. Now everyone on the count of three, say the word Lego with a nice deep breath and a nice exhale. Three, two, one, Lego. Because they're still the best, man. Quality, design, look, they are awesome. Right, dear? <laughs> Deer's like a ninja, so you can't really say too much. You're covering up your mouth, boy. Yeah, he says he's gonna go out and kick your butt if you don't buy this one, because this is amazing. So welcome back to Breaking Up Scotty. I'm Scotty. If you haven't seen the Ninjako City video, just check it out right here. It's an amazing set. It's huge, it's absolutely massive, it's huge. Yes, it's very expensive. This one is also, you know, it's Lego. It's kind of expensive, but this one's a much small, smaller scaled set, and it's a bit more affordable. And the best part is, for some of you, this actually isn't that crazy looking. I mean, there's got a lot of colors here on this side. It just gets a little bit colorful there. But otherwise, if you wanted to strip some of the stuff down, this actually is pretty cool. Like represents, it's, I mean, it's a, it's a docking station for your boat or whatever, but it's got that oriental flair to it. And I really enjoy it just as much as the Ninjago City. It's really funny because the Ninjago City was like really talked about. It was huge when it was announced because it just looked so crazy. This one was announced, it wasn't like huge. I was excited, I'm like, finally the extension is out, I can get it, and it is amazing. And I gotta give a quick shout out to Lego Certified Store Hong Kong. Thank you guys so much for holding the set for me. I'm so glad I bought it, so this is really, really cool. And before I forget, yay, the channel is now part of YouTube's Creator Partnership Program. I think that's really, really cool. That's just an extra bonus that I got to this point, just from putting up videos and from you guys. So thank you guys so much. And I hope that we can just evolve and keep on growing together. Now let's get right to this. Look at this sucker. So this is Lego's Ninjago City Dog 70657, 3,553 pieces. I built this thing really fast. I was just having so much fun with it. I don't even know where to start. Look at that. Now the first thing I noticed is that it actually extends outwards. It's not so much like a typical base plate. It does stretch out. And it's cool, I really like this. I really like the, the feel and the vibe from it. Let's just take a look at it from the outside first. And we'll slowly work our way up. And on the front there, water tiles. Yay, more tiles to stare at all day long. And you know what, I haven't connected it to my city. We're gonna do it together. We'll see what position looks the best. But look at that, that is so cool. And I guess this is where your boat is gonna dock. They actually have a place here to park your boat. That's so cool, and it does have a boat here. I like this boat. We're gonna move him out of the way for now. So along the water tiles, you got plenty of more flowers and lily pads. I guess you can always put more froggies around there. And I like the dock part, like this. They extended this out from the city for sure. That is awesome. They have a little sticker here. The city of Ninjago. And you got this pulley thing here. This is actually really cool. I always like, I told you guys, I like things that stick out of the set. So, you know, you can put this out and it makes it look 3D. Fully functional. It works. Look, we're gonna drop the barrel. Is there anything inside here? There is treasure inside there, my friend. Which one would you like to buy? The yellow or the pink? Very cool. I like little details like that. What's the story behind that? We don't know. I don't know. Do you know the story behind it? So let's look along the back because it does have more stuff here on the back because they don't skimp out. Yes, look at that. Whoa. You know, they didn't have to continue the water brick tiles here, but they did. There's so much detail that they added on back onto here. And this is so cool. This is like a fishing pole with a crab on the end. Is the crab being caught or is the crab the bait? I'm not sure. Nice touch barrel. There's one of the fish there. And you got this little structural thing. I think this is to actually just hold down that level there, the floor, because it kind of does stick out. Just looking from the camera here, that looks so cool. I like the look of that. And like I said, again, it's just because of this color scheme that's so blue. If you were to replace those bricks on your own, like a brown, like kind of matched with the rest of the theme, it could have a very Asian flow. It doesn't have to be Ninjago. You know, I don't know Ninjago, you guys know that. I have no idea of the story. I still haven't watched the first movie. I will try to watch it soon. Okay, so the cool thing is you got the fruit stand there. Look at all the fruit. You got bananas, apples, and cherries. You can like organize it however you want to organize it. And it has a function there to dump it out. If you're gonna let your kids play with the set, that's gonna irritate you because it will just dump everywhere and it's kind of a pain in the butt to clean up, yeah, all your kitties are just gonna flip that thing over and it's gonna spill everywhere. Then you have to, have to pick up all the apples and the cherries and put them back. 
I'm not even sure if these were the original orders, but it's something like that. You got more stickers here. Again, those are the Ninjago language signs. Do we know what they say? Do you know what they say? I'm sure it just says like fruit shop, right? Now next to that, you have like a turkey. It's like a rotisserie turkey. That is so awesome. Where is the handle for it? Oh, this is so, this is awesome. I love when they put little things like this in, in the sets, you know, just I was putting it together going, this is so cool. Look at that, you got rotisserie turkey, or is that like a huge chicken? But the handle's here on the side in the hallway. You can see it, barely see it there. It's a little bit hard to get to. So yeah, functioning parts, man. We only just started and they already have two things that function. Of course, there's gonna be a lot more to see. Look here under the staircase. There's a set of barrels there. Is there anything inside? Is there a treasure? Yes, there is. We've got a soda can. Oh, there's a head in there. There's a skeleton head. And cookies. Lots of, lots of cookies. What's the story behind that? No clue, but it sure is fun. So it's time to take each layer off one by one, and we'll come back and we'll work our way from the bottom to the top. So this is what it looks like with all the floors taken off. We'll move the ore out of the way. That's just a spare ore. Very nice, very clean. Look at that. You still got a lot of detail when you take all those off. That's really cool. All right, so we saw the shop earlier, but inside the shop, there's nothing in there. It would have been nice to have a, maybe a little bit more detail inside. Or are you guys just happy the way it is? It would have been maybe been cool to put like a little bit more small things on the shelvings or whatever. Now on the dock side, it's just a hole that you can see the boat inside. I'm not sure why they kept that open when the second floor is kind of sealed off. It would have been nice if that second floor actually can go into the boat, like an escape route. That would have been cool. Maybe you can mod it yourself. And then we'll move along here to the other side. And look, it's like a little room here with like a pottery or a statue or like a shop here. You got like a little tiny mini mini figure, is that what they're called? Micro figures. Some gray chickens, gray skeleton. Cool little room, maybe it's like an altar room. I'm not quite sure. But there you go, that's actually really cool. Now on the back of this place, there's actually a small hidden alleyway that you can move this tree out of the way. And I guess that area is kind of where for, what, for meetings or for like secret things that are going on. Now for the design, like the rooftop and stuff, this was actually really cool. Remember last time we saw the crowbars that you can bend and become the roof? These shovels here, these are all shovels. I'm like, no way. That's the kind of stuff that I really love putting together. Okay, so we're done with this floor. Let's look at the second floor from this side to this side. Yeah, just look at this room. So this floor has a staircase here. That's the extension from the first floor. And you got a little small little room here. Dojo, chaining, fighting room. This got some, such an Asian flair to it. It's actually pretty cool, I like that. Now you got these little things that hang down the lanterns. I, I can't stop laughing at those. You know, those look like ball sacks. I'm really sorry, but those just look like nuts swinging on the lantern. How would I know that? Forget it, let's just move on. Okay, so on the inside here, this looks like a dojo. I think like a training room. This is so good. You got a sticker back there for the ninja moves. And you got weapons hanging on the wall there on that side. And you got like power glove looking thing. And more stickers down there look like the Sifu or the, the master who's training the ninjas here. But you see on this side, they put ninja swords inside these little holders, which is actually really awesome. And you got ninja stars on that side. Now on the opposite side, I don't have anything there, but they're supposed to just replicate and repeat and put it on that side. So I'll go do that after this video. I really like that. I think that's actually pretty cool. So this is the second floor in the middle. This is so good. I love the design of this. I love the gold frogs. I think that's actually a pretty cool touch. Okay, so rooftop can come off. I actually really enjoyed building all the roofs on these. They were so fun to put together. They didn't feel repetitive. So what's cool about this room is this little rooftop can kind of open a little bit so you can see more inside. There's a control panel and bunk bed. Now the cool thing is the second bunk bed can actually come out really easy. Look at that. It just pops out. And underneath that bunk bed, got a sticker. Details, people. I love the detail. This is like a kitchen, dining. This is probably a little small apartment. Well, look, you got your pots and you got like ovens there. Good day in Ninjago on the TV. Now this thing right here is actually really cool. I really love this piece because it opens up like a secret window. It's like a, what, Doctor Strange things that open up and they can jump out. You know, it's just one of those superhero moment things. I love that. I think that's actually pretty cool. And you got more lanterns here. And they have this, this, this wig plant again. I don't know if I like that using a wig. It's like Joker's wig, but using a wig as a plant. But there you go, very cool middle room. I like it a lot. And let's move on to the next side. Ah, the treasure room. Again, this is a very small room and it's one of those ones where I kind of wish the bottom can open up to go to your boat, like the escape thing. But it's still pretty cool. Look at all the maps there. You got maps, maps, and more maps. So if you look on the first floor outside, you'll see that they already have a telescope there that kind of sits in part with this room. I guess this is where the ninjas are gonna plan their routes and go out and find some 
Treasure, you got a nice globe in there. We've seen that globe before in the ship in the bottle. If you haven't seen ship in the bottle and want a good laugh, I don't know, it's really random, but cool, you can go watch it there. And let's see, you got this little book thing here. You can flip it out, check it out. Oh, look at that magic scroll. Oh, ho, ho. Go find this lizard crazy looking guy, crab looking guy. Okay, we'll put that book back. I like that idea. Very simple room, nice treasure room, and you got the ladder to go up the next floor. Let's put this one aside. Above that room is this one. We spin that around. I'm pretty sure this is the final piece of the puzzle when you're actually building it. Doesn't matter. This was a lot of fun. I was actually pretty sad when I was finishing this off. I was like, no, it's the end. I need another Ninjago set. I'll probably buy the smaller ones later. So this room right here, it's kind of weird. It's like a variety of little things going on. It's like a newspaper stand outside. That's really cool. I like how they hold the newspaper stand there. And on the inside, you have more newspaper stands along the window that say, Ninja identities are a mystery. The Ninjagon. Ninja, I like that. The Ninjagon. 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 They face out like that. They're kind of hard to put in that little slot, by the way. And let's see, on the inside, I guess it's like a healing medicine shop. You know one thing, though? I really love how they did the drawers. So the drawers are not really drawers. They're just like for look, right? But they had two of them just kind of extended out. They look like they're open drawers. And that is a really nice touch. I think that's actually very cool. And you got like, what are those potions along the top? You can correct me if I'm wrong on these things, you know? You got more neon signs here on the side. And that's one of the things I'm talking about. You can kind of just take this off and replace it with something else that looks a little bit more oriental. And you'll probably have like a more old school kind of set. It doesn't have to be an Ninjago set. You have another orange neon sign here. That's kind of new to me. It's that, you know, it says zero one since last attack. So it's like a sign board letting you know that the Ninjago city is safe for now. What do I think? It's a very small room. It's just nice, it's simple, it's in a little store. Not my favorite, but let's move on to the room back on the other side. It's the last one already. It's so small, the set. No, I don't want this video to end. This is actually my favorite. I think this is when it gets crazy again. Now, first of all, you got this guy here. You saw the puffer fish in the last Ninjago City set. This is like a pig. You know, it's the same, same deal again. If we don't like the piggy, there. So on the front here, you got some barriers again. These are all stickers and a little skateboard there. But look, this is like a drink machine. They give you money, you put it there, and you push it. Look what just came out. A soda can came out. Yes, a working soda machine. There's a little slot here on the top. You just drop the can back inside and reset the money, pull it out. You wanna buy a drink? Yes, I do. You can even fold this down and be like, I want one more drink. Yeah, that is so good. Like that to me is amazing. I love that stuff. So you have a gumball machine here. The other gumball machines I've already done in other sets that I kind of like a little bit better. This one's a little bit more simple. But you do have two arcade machines. They're really, really super tiny and they have stickers on it, but they're so cute. They're really cool. They have the joystick on there. You know that it's supposed to be like an arcade machine, arcade game. This must be like a game fun denter. A little countertop there with a mug and a little calculator. I guess that's where the cashier work. And you got two more stickers up there. We've seen those stickers in Ninjago City, except for the one on the right. Not sure where that one's from. Finally, yes, the posters are back. You know, I love the posters in the last one. And when I was doing this one, I'm like, they did it again. But this time they made it totally different. So it's not the same. So on the side here are the posters. You can open it up here, pull out the poster. Yeah. Now, where's the other posters? They're inside. They are inside this set that is so cool. Underneath, look at that. Underneath is like a tray system right there. You see that? Now, the roofing here is loose for a reason. So, this is a little plant thing that you see down here. It's a lever to pull out the other posters, like so. Wow, check that out. Woo, more posters. You got like sushi posters, you got like a travel. You know, go fly away. You got like go racing. I don't know what these are. We got something that's live on the breaking news right now. Someone's attacking the city. More functioning stuff. This is the stuff I really love. And that's why I love the Ninjago City more than I actually really should. I would not have even gone into these sets. But now that I keep seeing what they're adding onto it, it's so much fun. I probably missed a couple details here for you guys. But you know, you can see everything right in front of you. This is just an amazing, amazing set. Let's see how it compares with the Ninjago City. So I'm gonna pull the camera wider. Let's move the book out of the way. Look at, the, look at this book. It's so thick. Wow. Okay, so there's the Ninjago City. Okay, now I've kind of seen photos of it together, but I never actually put it together myself. So I'm not quite sure which direction these go into. So they go in like, oh, maybe it goes this way. They go like that. No, then it would hit that, right? Can you choose which way you like, like it to go? Here, I'm gonna take all the little 
things out from here so we can experiment ourselves the way we like to do it. Because if you guys don't own this set yet, we better find out how you're gonna put it together. Though there's a plant here that's gonna push on there, so that probably, that probably won't fit that great together like that. Or we do it this way, you connect like that. What do you guys think? You guys like it like that? But then the boat is kind of blocked from the Ninjago City. Or do we rotate it like, push it like that? Oh no, it's hitting that plant again. How about like that? That looks kind of cool. Interesting. It's like the back end of the front of this one, but the water tile plate looks nicer like this. Oh, maybe it's like that, but the, the piggy's on the wrong, maybe that, did I put the pig on the wrong way? Oh yeah, see that, see I'm so stupid. No, oh, I didn't even realize that there's a walkway there that connects to the city. So yeah, this is the proper way. Hey man, I don't look at the photos in detail of what goes together. I'm just learning now that the walkway along the middle connects to each other, and that is actually pretty cool. Look here, I'm just gonna slide it. Hopefully I don't break it. I want it like this, and then go like this. Yeah, now I can rotate the whole thing and like, kind of turn everything around so you guys can see it on the back side. Like so, we're getting there, we're getting there. Oh my goodness. They're gonna have another connecting thing here, which is probably gonna be like this big and go out that way. Is it gonna be like a square? Like two more sections to add on? I'm not sure. But that's what it looks like from the back. What do you guys think? You guys like that? Oh, that looks really cool. Now it's time to look at the minifigures. As usual, the minifigures are named from Lego. We'll keep them that way within the Ninjago lore. So here they are. So from the order of the book, we've got Runji. Runja, Runj. Dude, she's like the coolest character. I love how they designed her back. So she can hold the fish and walk along. It's like total worker style. That is so awesome. You got Rundi with his oar. I guess that's his boat this time in this city. And you got Dareth. I like his outfit. And Run Me. What kind of name are these? Run Me was the one that was just sitting there this whole time. You got Chang Kong Sang. Can you be any more Asian? But hey, that's cool. Got a hundred dollar bill. And you got Little Nelson. I like his glove thing. That's actually pretty cool. Like he's, I guess he's training. And you got Lloyd. Saw him in the other set. Got this grandma lady with the teapot. Mistake. And you got Cole with his phone. Printing, you know, printing's perfect on these guys. You got Chad. She looks like a football jock kind of guy. You got Betsy and a baby. She's holding a little baby and she has a baby bottle. And you got Private Puffer. Dude, he's the, he's one of my favorites, I think, from the set. He just looks so offbeat, and I love his Pufferfish helmet. And then you got Garmadon. I guess he's the main baddie, but that is awesome. Actually, that's my first minifigure of having double bodies with four arms. That is actually pretty cool. I, I haven't seen that before. I finally got the boat here. The boat's actually pretty cool. I really like the boat. I actually like it better than the other one just because for some reason the boat in Ninjago City just kind of looks more sci-fi-ish to me. This one looks more traditional and I like how the top does open up and I like the little compass in the front. Very cool boat indeed. So there you guys go. What do you think? Pretty cool. I really like it. I think it's, you know, if you can't afford the city, this is a much more scaled down version. It's kind of more wider than it is higher and it's not as crazy as the other one, so it's a little bit more cleaner, i say that's the word. But it's a very cool set, I love it so much. So go get yours today, you can buy it at Lego. And until next time you guys, break me out! Ninjakareka, if you haven't seen the Ninjako City, it's, I'm trying to mirror myself, that's why like, if I'm reaching here, it's the opposite side. But here, oh I dropped the thing. Oh, I'm gonna do that one more time. So one thing really quickly, there are two pieces that I'm missing from the set. It's really strange because they're like big pieces and it's really weird and I just couldn't find them. So anyway, you know, if you find them, let me know in the comments where they are. It's not a giveaway. Just, just have fun with the video and point it out if you want to. Here we go. Take this one off. Take this off. Oh, it feels so naked now. It feels so naked. Are you feeling naked? Oh, there's our gold froggy. That's where he was missing. Put him back on here. These things happen. They fall off and I can't find them and I have no idea how to search and make sure everything's perfect. He's back with his homies.
cool the gold frog me. Good. Oh look, the minifigure's still here. We had one here. What were you doing there? She was there the whole time and I just didn't even notice. Okay, cool. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> <laughs>